Good evening, everybody. It is 425 here in Florida and blessings. Okay, everyone, I want to share some things with you. Um, we're going to start with this. I put that comet video out. Well, it's been three days now, and it's about the green comet, okay? And wow, just wow. Our sister Amanda Christian from the Amanda Christian channel had left a comment, but I didn't get to see it. So, um, night before last, I've been trying to put this out, y'all. I really have, but it's just been, I've just been so busy, so much going on. But anyways, she wrote to me in my email and she told me that she had had a vision and I'm going to go there, uh, in just a second, but, um, well, let's check this out, what Louise is saying here. Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. Number one, the Sleeping Giant DEFCON is at two, even though it says three on this one. Let me show you something really quick. You click on this one, USA, DEFCON two. So it seems... Okay, so he says it seems that they're getting ready for war. And um, I'm just going to leave it right there. I will leave the link in the comment section. The pen, I will pin it. And uh, wow, y'all, DEFCON 2. This is not good. And why am I sharing all this? I'm sharing all this because, well, I feel like we just don't have a whole lot left um, for everything to, well, kick off. Okay, so let's go, because I want to share this awake vision that our sister Amanda had. Let's go here. Okay, so, like I said, she had left me um, an email. And th this says on it yesterday, but this was two days ago, okay? Now, like I said, she had left me a comment in my comment section that I could not see. And that's why she came over here and she left it here. And I couldn't understand what she wrote the first time, so she rewrote it. And uh, she says, I said I had an awake vision about the green comet in the sky. I saw a UFO or something fly up to it and then speed away really fast. It was really weird. And then she said in the last um, thing that she wrote out to me that she didn't understand it. But um, some of you may know, some of you may not know. I do interpret dreams. I usually don't do awake visions because that's all Holy Spirit. Uh, and a lot of times we don't know what something's going to mean until it happens. Or the Holy Spirit is answering that person in, in a private manner, okay, with an awake vision. I've had him where he was teaching me, okay, the Father. Now, this right here, I believe, means that... Well, we're looking at DEFCON 2, you guys, and everything that's going on, all these earthquakes. I mean, my goodness, it's like the Bible is just coming to life. And I don't feel like we have a whole lot left. Now, um, again, the Green Comet, she had this awake vision, I think, the day before I put out that video or that day. I'm not sure, though. Um but for the pure fact that this UFO flew up to it and then uh, sp sped away very fast, okay, that to me, and now we got DEFCON 2, and there's just not a whole lot left that I have seen through the Brethren's Dreams that needs to be uh, going on. There's a lot going on. And uh, I think it's saying that it's a big time marker and it's going to come fast, okay? And uh, then she was talking about another dream that she had had about Russia, Turkey, and Iran times three. The coin kept going back and forth between those three. And uh, she says, now look at this, that Russia, um, that Russia is doing. She says, Iran is also manufacturing drones on Russian soil, and they all doing deals together. Yes, they're all sitting at the same table. And this is what she had sent me. Okay. But isn't that amazing with the comments, y'all? This is uh, Russia and Turkey and Iran we have here. And uh, there was a sister that had a dream. 
where her husband and herself were in a car. She looked on the right side of the road. There was a man there with a the newspaper. She said it said breaking news that the uh, U.S. had gone to war with Iran. So we're looking at all these things together, culminating together as in World War Three, y'all. And um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. And she was raptured. That was a rapture dream. She was in a convertible. You know, your dreams. Well, I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so anyways, let's go somewhere else here. Go ahead. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. That was Andy coughing. Anyways, next to me. Anyways, um, okay, so let's see here. Where was I? Okay, so about the UFOs. Oh my goodness, there's so much coming in, you guys. All right, about the UFOs. Amanda had had a dream about three years ago, somewhere in there, maybe a little bit longer, where she and her uh, her husband, John, uh, they were on a tractor, okay, and that's rapture, that is harvest, um, and this is the very end of the dream, I'm not going to say the whole dream, I'm just saying the parts that I believe is going on right now, uh, she saw wolves, then she saw um, German shepherds, and she just had another awake vision about uh, Germany, you guys, okay, but uh, she saw German shepherds in her dream, and then she saw UFOs at the end, at the end of it, okay, you guys, and the UFOs were there, and they were, uh, she was telling her husband, we need to cover up so they don't see us. And, uh, well, that takes me to another dream. And this is from our sister Tatum. Um, and she goes by the name uh, Sufficient Grace. And uh, she said that she had had a dream. And this also was about three years ago, maybe a little longer, uh, that she was walking up the stairs, and to me, that's heaven. She was going to heaven. So, like I said, all this is at the end, okay? The very end of the puzzle pieces here, just like in Amanda's dream. The UFOs were the very last thing in it, okay? Uh, and she was going upstairs. She went into a classroom. She was sitting there. She heard in the back of the classroom, when they start to impeach the president, everything starts. And then she said she saw a picture of a UFO on the wall. Now, what's going on with Mr. Sleepy Joe there? Uh, they've been trying to impeach him pretty much since the beginning. But everything that's been going on, uh, they are really trying to impeach him now. But um, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. All I know is, is that it's at the end and she was in heaven. So in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, and that's how fast it's going to happen uh, when all this thing, all these things ha start to happen, okay? Now, here we go. Again, I'm going to tell you one more, th a couple more things here. Pastor Bangley is supposed to be, oh, he's already in Israel right now, okay? And both Rhonda and Amanda, well, Rhonda had a dream where she saw uh, Pastor Bagley in Israel. He was outside of a window, and he saw a hand, a finger. Well, it was getting ready to push a, a, a red button, and that's nuclear, you guys. And the same day, Amanda, she had an audible, I believe it was, and uh, she knew that um, America had gone in on a, in a second strike on them, okay? So, again, we're looking at Iran, we're looking at Taiwan, we're looking at Japan, uh, the samurai uh, warrior biting the woman on the, uh, the back of the neck, and that's America. That's another dream I'm not going to get into. All this is culminating into World War III, you guys, and it's just amazing what's going on here. We are so getting ready to go home. Let's see, is there anything else I want to tell you? Uh, Yeah, um, Pastor Paul Begley is supposed to be there for 11 days. Now, I don't know what's going to happen, you guys. I really don't. But all I know is, is it just seems like everything is lining up and the puzzle pieces are coming together. And, uh, well, there's that green comet again. Unbelievable. And that was at the very end, those UFOs. Seems the time marker is showing us that it is time you guys have a beautiful and blessed day please leave your comments in the comment section i'd love to hear from you god bless you
Amen and amen.